Hi everybody and happy St. Patrick's Day again. Um, it's Miss Jenikin here with another video. Um, because it's St. Patrick's Day and because it is slowly turning into springtime, it will be the first day of spring, I think this Thursday, um, I thought it would be a really fun opportunity for us to learn a little bit about how flowers get their nutrients and their energy using the water that they drink. So I'm gonna take a couple of different kinds of white flowers that I found around my house. I have a white daisy, um, some white, um, these are some white flowers and I don't know the name of them, but you can find them a lot around. I think they're technically a weed. Um, we're gonna use these ones in our experiment. Uh, and then I also have another white flower that looks very similar to this one, but it was planting in our front yard. And then I also have some white orchids. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna nicely trim two of each of those flowers and we're gonna put them in a little cup of water with some green food coloring and see what happens. Um, so I'm very excited to see, and I hope you are too. Okay, here are the flowers in the green food coloring, and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so it has been two hours since our flowers um, went into the green food coloring, and I'm gonna show you how they look so, so far. So here are the flowers that I put in the green food coloring about two hours ago, and how they look so far. Um, the flowers are already starting to get green, and what I thought was super interesting was that a lot of them you can see it mainly with the daisy. The green showed up on the tips of the flowers first. Hmm, so I wonder if you have any questions about that. And I cannot wait to see how they look in another couple of hours. Hi everybody, it's Miss Jenikin again. As you can see, I got uh, over the green wig thing. <laughs> um, it's now, uh, what time is it? It is 4.30, um, and so now is about the time where I'm pretty sure that our little flowers have sucked up as much water as they can, um, and I'm gonna show you what the result is. All right, so here we go. As you can see, the orchid has gotten a lot more green, has sucked up a lot more of that green food coloring into its color. So has the daisy and the evergreen candy tuft, which is this one right here. I really like how it almost looks like it's got polka dots, doesn't it? Wow. All right, everyone, well, that's it. Um, I can't wait to do this in person with you when we come back to school. Um, but if you have any thoughts about this experiment, please um, feel free to email me or put a comment down below. Have a great St. Patrick's Day.